Hi guys, Bea here. Today in this video I'm excited to tell you that we have a new slideshow block. In Themes Generator now we can include slideshows. So in this video I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, first thing that I want to let you know is that in Themes Generator we will drag this block, place it wherever you want inside the theme and then once you export your theme into WordPress then you need two plugins. We made Themes Generator compatible with Meta Slider and Smart Slider 3. They're both free plugins. You will need to download them. You will edit this slider in WordPress. Customize, you will select the slider that you want. So I'll show you all this process here in this video. Are you ready? First step is log into your Themes Generator account. So right now I'm logged in. I'm using an, the Autumn theme. This is a free theme that you can find here. Click on Load Theme and here you'll find some free and premium themes. So I'm using this one, Autumn Theme. And next, what we're doing is we're going to find the slideshow block, so which is here in Extra. So this is the block that we're just going to drag here under the header separator under the menu so that's because i want the slideshow just exactly under the um, the navigation okay so i've just moved this hero image down I'm just going to leave it there so basically in themes generator this is what you're going to do okay so what we're going to do is we're going to export this theme and we're going to install it into wordpress and just as a reminder to export you click on this button and click on export wordpress template so theme right now is exporting so once we get that zip then we're going to install it into wordpress i'm in wordpress now and you guys should do the same go and log into your back end so just a reminder to what you have to do to install your theme you have to go to appearance and you go to themes and just click on add new theme so here this is what you will get um the file is already here so once you've chosen your file from your computer then click on install now now it's installing and what you have to do is click on activate okay so now it's already activated so as you can read here you can read this it says that this theme recommends the following plugins meta slider and smart slider 3. so even though you don't remember to install them we will remind you constantly that you have to install them and for example, if we visit the site over here, you can read this. Please install Meta Slider or Smart Slider 3 plugins to see your slider here, okay? So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to install Smart Slider 3. Um, you guys choose. A Themes Generator is compatible with both of them, so you can actually install both of them and then choose which slider you want or just pick one of them. So just in this tutorial, I'm going to use Smart Slider 3. So if you want to install a plugin, remember, go to Plugins and Add New. Once you install these plugins, I mean, not only these, but basically every single plugin, you also have to activate it, okay? Um, how do you know if this if it's activated? So in this case, is Smart Slider. Smart Slider option will show up here, okay? So let's visit the site. I'm going to open it in another tab. And you see that we still have this message here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Customize and show you, okay? We have to go to Customize and Sliders. So this is Customize. And here in Sliders, it says that you select the slider name. Let's see what we have here. So right now, none is selected. So that's why we still have this message. And just open and you can see that we have none and smart slider sample slider so i'm just going to show you the sample slider okay this is a sample slider which looks pretty good and as you see that is moved down all of the rest of the content so um how do we do this what i'm going to do is i'm just going to close this i'm not going to publish this okay so I'll leave it as it is because I'm going to what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how do we get our own slider, right? So we're going to go back to our dashboard and here click on smart slider. 
Great, so this is the smart slider, the plugin dashboard. So here's where we create our slider. Um, you can choose to create your own slider um, by clicking here, new slider from scratch. But I recommend you to check their template library because they have some free templates, which will help you save lots of time. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of saving time. And here, just click, I'm gonna show you what you get, okay? Because I think it will be easier for you guys. Um, click on template library. So here we have, I'm um, just gonna click the free. So I will just get the free sliders, the free templates that we get here. Um, if you want to keep on checking others, these are premium, so it might cost like, you know, some extra fees, but they're actually pretty interesting too. So I'm going to stick on free, okay? Um, remember, you can also create um, your own slider from scratch, all right? But I'm just going to use one of these. Okay, so for example, let's choose, think, this one over here, okay, because we have different image static, even gradient slider, but I think I'm going to click on this one. So just choose and click on import. Okay, it's imported. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to name it There are lots of options in this slider. I think it's a very powerful free plugin. Um, so you can choose if you want the background images to feel blur fit, um, the duration of the animation, the arrows, if you want them to show um, on hover or not. And you can style them, the position. So these are the slides over here. So what I'm going to do is can, you can also add more slides, but I'm going to choose this first one over here. And what I love about this plugin is, sorry, I'm going to close this, is that you get the different views. So you can, you get the desktop tablet and also the phone and you can edit them. You can make it responsive and control the design and its responsiveness. Okay. So let's delete and um, sorry okay so this is how you edit like that and this one over here, let's leave it like that. And for example, I'm going to change the color. I've got some colors here, default colors. I'm going to leave that one. This icon, which links, um, I think I'm just going to delete it, which is also easy to delete. And about this background, I'm going to just click here and I'm going to select an image from my computer. So I've selected this image over here and I'm going to change the color of the text because I've chosen a background a bit light. <laughs> so I'm just going to change this a little bit. Okay, it's just randomly Colors might not make lots of sense right now because <laughs> it's really, really, really random. But this is what we get. Also, if I choose a background color too, it might help or it will just even look worse than it is. Okay. Yeah, just bring down a little bit this opacity so okay so whenever you guys are done with with your slider what you're gonna do is so let's say for example I'm just going to make some small change and see what other things we can do over here so it's font weight normal let's make it 
Okay, so let's leave it like that and then in whenever you're done, remember you can also check how it looks in different devices just to make sure it's what you want and it looks good. Then you just click on save. Okay, so it means that slide has been saved. So now we're going to go back to the slider. Here we have our slider. We named the theme generator. So um, let's go to our home page and here back to customize. And here in slides, in slider, sorry, we're going to select the smart slider called themes generator. Okay, so we select it and we see that our first slide is the one that we've created. Remember, the rest, I haven't touched them, so they're going to look exactly the same. Um, you can add more slides if you want, remember. And if you're happy with this, just click on Publish. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to click on Publish. This is just something simple that you can do, but it's, as I said before, it's a free plugin that I consider also very, very, very powerful and we made it compatible with Themes Generator. So you guys feel free to play around. If you want to share your designs, um, come on and do it. I would love to check them. I would love to see your new WordPress themes, your own WordPress themes with the slideshow now, okay? So this is how you add a slideshow into your theme. You drag the block into your workspace. You place it wherever you want this slider to be. Um, then export it, bring it into WordPress, and here's where we do all the magic. We get the plugins, we install them, we create the sliders, and basically that's it. Remember, remember that you can design your own WordPress theme in Themes Generator for free, and we also have premium features for premium subscribers. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any video like click on the icon bell wait sorry it's always on the other side click on the icon bell to get notified whenever a video is out thank you guys for watching